So, <laughs> it's been a minute since I've been on, and I wanted to kind of catch up with you guys a little bit and kind of explain what went on at the end of 2018 because it has been since July since I uploaded a new video. <laughs> um, I did not mean for that to happen, but um, I just wanted to catch up with you. I usually don't even call out when I post things because someone in like, you know, 2025 is going to watch this and be like, who cares where you were in the last six months. But <laughs> right now you might care. So I just wanted to say hi and pop in and kind of chat and explain the last year. <laughs> um, but I also have pins and favorite stuff to show you. So I will be sharing that while I talk. So last year we decided to put our son in preschool so I could have some time to work and so he could be around other kids and just start getting used to school and he loves it. He absolutely loves it. But he brought home so many bugs. I was not even prepared for it. So like I knew he was going to but I didn't realize how much I would be affected by it. So I ended up having... Um, this sinus infection for like months and I have chronic sinus issues anyway it's just my own kind of kind of I don't, it's not really a disease but it's just a condition and um, I ended up having to have surgery at the end of no the beginning of November and um, recovered from that pretty quickly which was nice um, and then it had been a little while and then it was the holidays and you know, my son was still coming home sick and it was a whole thing. So I just didn't have time for videos and it was a bummer. I didn't have time for a lot of stuff. Like I didn't see some of my friends for a while. <laughs> like, um, the end of last year was, was hard, but I'm excited for this year. I'm excited that the busy holiday season is over and I can plan and get more videos made for you. I could snuggle it kitties like sweet turkle bean oh he's so comfy right now I don't even want to move but I want to show people some stuff because I've rambled enough last year was butts but this year is going to be awesome so let's look at some fun stuff that I've been saving forever okay so my okay you can stay with <laughs> he's like gripping my sweater <laughs> Um, so my friend Lindsay of Emmons Sprout sent me some fun stuff, um, and I had, I wore, um, my, oh, Krampus, that's what it's called, my Krampus t-shirt that she made, basically all holiday season. Um, I absolutely adored it, and, um, she also sent me one of her, um, sweatshirts, so I wore that, like, Christmas Day, and just also, I basically just wore those two shirts every day in December. I also got a little bat shirt, which I will be wearing year-round, and these are her, can you tell, I have been saving these. I was like, I'm going to put these away and save them for a video. Her Halloween pins, not relevant now, still super cute. Like, the quality of her stuff is amazing with those colors. Look at that flippin' cauldron! Oh, so good. She's amazing at everything and I love her. I could just do a whole video of the things that I own of hers. <laughs> okay, look at these earrings. Can you even? Macaroni? Luna and Artemis? So, so cute. I love, love, love her earrings. And then one last thing. Okay, I was... I was going to fix this, but I think it's kind of hilarious. Since I have this stuff sitting on the couch, just in neat piles, ready to talk about, <laughs> just never did it, the cats have claimed her kitty beret. Okay, look at this. I don't know. I'm going to zoom in on this. This is, look at all my cat hair. 100% <laughs> Turks. He's laying there right now. But how, I feel like it's kind of appropriate, though. I'm not very good at berets, but I really want to be. Oh my god. Should I just keep the cat hair? Comment below and tell me what you think. <laughs> I love it. It's so cute. She has so many cute berets. It's adorable. I want to try and wear hats more. I don't know. I think I should. Okay, moving on to another one of my BFFs. 
Lux cups. <gasps> Look! Okay, so I got this clutch. I used to be a part of um, Itchy Nose. I used to be a part of the Studio DIY Clutch of the Month kind of club. Um, I stopped because I didn't really like some of the designs. And I didn't really need that many clutches. I really only carry a backpack. <laughs> but um, I love how well they're made. But this one came with a... It just had a croissant on it. And I love a croissant. But not enough to wear it with a clutch. <laughs> so I took one of Libby's fuzzy patches. Put it on there. Look at that. It is way cute now. I love it. So she has... Some more fuzzy patches. She's got a lot of stuff now, but I wanted to be sure to show you these. It's these little fuzzy. Look! I love this one. And then her little cute Thulu. I think they're so cute, and I'm excited to actually start using them because I don't have a ton of stuff that I put patches on. I've never really quite been in the patch game. I'm sorry I said that. But these are making me want to put them on everything because they're sticky. Like, I don't have to sew anything, and I know how to sew, but I don't necessarily like to sew patches on things. I couldn't remember if I showed you her sherbet. Oh, so cute. And this one. It's just like her, she has a patch with it too, but it's just her sweet little kitten. Love this one. Also, as always, links down below. I'm so excited to finally show you these things. One of my friends, Maybe Art, sent me this. I had never heard of these. It's a Teru Teru Bozu is what it's called. It's like a little um, kind of rain charm in Japan. They make them and hang them in their windows and stuff like that. I had never heard of them and she made this really cute got a rainbow and little rain clouds and the little drops hanging off it's really cute so thank you maybe for sending me this I think it's adorable my amazing friend Stacy made she is my favorite tattoo artist of all time and she made these perfect little cutie monsters the classic monsters fun fact my grandmother actually used to date the guy who did the swimming in the original Creature from the Black Lagoon. Isn't that cool? They met in Florida when they were filming down there and um, she says they were only friends, but please. Um, we always used to tease her about it. <laughs> so my friend Hillary, who inspired me to even start doing videos like this <laughs> at all, um, she is amazing and I met her at the Texas Style Council a few years ago, which was a blogging conference, and I loved it. Um, and she uses buying services in Japan a lot. She's so good at it. She has all these contacts. Like, I get kind of overwhelmed when I think about it, but she will send me notes and be like, hey, I'm getting some stuff. Do you want to get in on this? I'm like, always. So she got... Oh, he's so pointy on my shoulder. So she found this little lip balm that Sanrio put out. It was a whole collection, but I had to, oh, I had to get it. Okay. Kitty and my melody. And Turks is looking for the beret again. <laughs> but look at this one. This is my favorite. Little twin stars on either side. I kind of wish I gotten two. So I could have put them side by side, but these were too cute. I just couldn't. I want to be my cute and charming self. I do. That's all I want. But yes, thank you for Hillary. Thank you to Hillary for helping me out getting those super cute things. What else do I have? I feel like I keep looking at the monitor because I'm still terrible at this. Okay, this, this one is cool. Look at this Eda bag. You might have seen, if you followed my stories at all, I hollered about this because um, Daymare was getting funding and Kickstarter and stuff like that, and I was I was hollering about it because I thought it was so cool. This one is pink. She had lots of different colors in it, and you, it came with an insert, but the insert was a little tight for me because I know I'm going to want to put a lot of stuff on there, um, but she sent it with some stickers. 
and a pin. And so the bag is so cool. Ugh, it comes with a little strap. I've waited to wear it, but like she's got custom fabric on the inside. I just thought it was so sweet. I feel like I usually wear just a lot of black and gray anyway. So this is gonna be a really cute bag for me to carry um, when I go places and I wanna be a little bit nicer and maybe show off my pins um, because it's got the little clear so I can just stick them straight to the bag, which is good with a little locking back. I think that'll be good. Um, so thank you, Daymare. I love it. It's so cute. Also, spoiler alert, I'm working on my own Eid bag that should be here this year. No more details right now. I got some pins from Rather Keen. We did a trade a few months ago. Fly Casual, some butter beer and pumpkin juice from two of my favorite properties of all time. My, my top three are Star Wars, Lord of the Rings, Harry Potter. To be honest, right now it's probably Star Wars, Harry Potter, Lord of the Rings. I had to think about that for a minute. Okay, when I did Pop Cats this summer, I traded with Stasia. Sweet little sticker. She brought all the kittens. And this is a new variation of the collab pin we did like two years ago. <laughs> um, and love these babies. I've been a huge fan of Stasia's for years and years and years. So I was kind of starstruck when she agreed to collab with me. And it was really exciting to finally meet her after like just fawning over her stuff. I remember in college just being like, oh, if I can ever be as good as Stasia, I will just lose it, <laughs> you know? Okay, so I had designed my Christmas pins early. I had them sent off to the manufacturer. I have this giant holly cat that's all glitter, and the present, and then this little choir caroling cat um, that I really loved. I'm so glad you guys liked them this, this year, last year. Um, but right when I sent these off to be manufactured, I was looking at Instagram. Pony People posted her pin. And I was like, my heart dropped. I said, oh no. I was like, it's gonna look like I'm copying. <laughs> it's like I had no idea that existed. And so I reached out to her immediately and I said, oh my God, girl, I just sent off a design that's almost exactly like yours. I did not mean to, I didn't see it. Are you okay with that? You know, I, and she came back and was just like, yeah, it's fine, it happens. And that was huge to me because I, I reached out to someone else before with my rainbow cat design because there was one that was kind of similar and um, mine, I thought, I felt like it was different enough, but the concept was the same. So I wanted to reach out to her beforehand and she said totally, which was really nice. So I've had really great um, kind of luck reaching out to people. And so we actually ended up trading our holly pins, which I think is so funny. So you can see them, <laughs> you can see them together. <laughs> um, but I just really, I just really want to thank her for being so cool about it. And that stuff happens. And if you see something that looks similar or someone tries to call you out about it, like just talk to the maker and be like, oh my gosh, I, I had no idea. And, um, and then just go from there and just be cool about it. Like if you have to make it limited edition, promise not to sell it, you know, maybe you can put them in for free with gifts over a certain purchase, you know, stuff like that. Um, but there are other ways, there are ways to handle it that are not, um, they're not scary. So she also sent super cute other stuff that I will be hoarding for next Christmas slash will probably never use because it's too cute and I don't want to take it apart. Okay, my sweet friend Pets Art sent me a few things too a while back. You can tell, ooh, this cute bag. It's so magical. You can tell I've had stuff since Halloween because I'm the worst. Oh my God, someday I'll stop looking at the side, I promise. But look how cute. A little black cat and a purple witch hat. I love it. And then one of her little mini Kokeshi and her little origami ones. So, so cute. And my good friend Nitel, um is actually now Shop Shoal. Her shop is now called Shoal and she's working on it 
with um, with Serena of Oplesiosaur. So they merged together. They're in the same shop. It's kind of awesome. And last year, Natal came out with a t-shirt line and I got one of each. I got two for my husband and these two for me. And um, she sent... The shirts are really great, but I just really wanted to show you the pins. This pangolin came with, um, it was like a pre-order exclusive. Cause you don't have to pre-order that stuff. I got a special pin. Ugh. And then there were just so many goodies. Look, this is awkward, but I just want to show you everything. Look how cute. Why am I holding it like that? Look how amazing. She's just such a, such an amazing artist. I adore her as a human and her work. Turks, stop playing with the tripod. Okay, we're in the home stretch now. Turks is still playing with the tripod. Apologies. Uh, my good friend Annie, a floating forest, came out with a bunch of pins this uh, last year that are absolutely gorgeous. Go check out her stuff, always. Um, my amazing friend, Jess, of thepindepartment.com. She is a middle woman. Um, who can help you make your pins. She is the one who helped me get started. She made me my very own oh, cat hair. Yes, I was going to uh, be good. Where did my thing go? Oh, I was going to be good and um, sticky roll it, but this is real life and you need to know. Um, it came with a little... It, this came with a giant safety pin, which is pink too. But look, it's like a little pin sash. Can you even believe this? You put all your pins on it and you walk around like you're freaking awesome. It's so cute. It's just like a little, it's like being in the Girl Scouts, but with pins and I love it. Now Turks is playing with my foot. This is just incredible. She offers these in her shop and she can also do custom embroidery. So your name is on it too. So cute. And she sent some pens. Love them. Ow! Turks just in my butt. You're full of beans. Okay, last but not least is some stuff from Sugar Bones. Okay, a little Christmassy gingerbread house. Money with a bow on it to the fairest. I love the concept behind this, the golden apple that's usually a bad sign for women and taking it back. And someday Turks will stop messing with this tripod. I can't do anything about it right now. There's nothing I can do. He's licking it. And this is my most favorite. It's a little witch. Love and support for my friends. It makes me so happy. <laughs> I got one for Libby too because it's just perfect. But that was it. Thank you for sticking around. Thank you for watching this. Thank you for subscribing, even though I haven't been posting for months. Um, I promise I have a whole docket of um, pin videos for you, pin mail, um, pin collections, enamel pins 101. It's all going to be happening in 2019 and hopefully not with Turks. Um, trying to eat my tripod. <laughs> All right. I'll see you guys later. Be sure to follow me on Instagram, the pink samurai. Um, check out the pink samurai.com if you like cute pins and cat stuff. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.